All right, so now we're going to show two ways that you can get a um, scatter plot with a best fit prediction line. So there are two ways that we can do this type of graph. We're going to do the first one through the regression function in data analysis. So regression, okay. You notice that all the things are the same. We have labels here. We've selected our first row all the way through so that we have the first row is labels. We check that box. Okay, we want to click this one, line fit plots. This is going to give us um, the best fit line as part of our data. So again, it's going to go to a new sheet. Hit OK. Here you go. So here's our line fit plot. Now we can make this look a lot nicer than it does right now. Uh, the first thing I would do is format this data series. So format the data series. I would take away these markers. Normally you don't want to see the predicted points. You just want to see the predicted line. So we're going to take that away and we're going to add a trend line instead. Okay, so we're going to do a linear trend line. And I'm going to make it a little thicker so it's easier to see. And so now we can take away this predicted symptom piece in the table, in the graphs uh, legend. And so here we have the symptoms that were actually observed for people and the linear prediction. And really, you could take away this entire thing if you want and just see the plot because you see that we have the variable names on the axes as appropriate. Um, and so you could, you know, retitle this if you want to. Um, something like the relationship between stress and symptoms. Okay. Um, and so here we have scatter plot, all the individual data points graph, and a best fit line. And there you go. And you could do this by selecting your data. Okay. And go to insert, scatter. Okay. I'm going to select that first type. So here's a very simple scatter plot that you can get. Um, notice it doesn't have axis titles. There are several forms you can select from up here. This one will add a trend line, right? Um, there's also one that will give you the linear regression function. So here's the equation. Uh, you actually get the R squared and the regression equation that characterize this relationship, which you would have gotten in your regression output if you remember earlier. Um, so here we see our R squared values, right? And then the regression equation is going to be these coefficient values. Um, and so this will give you all those as well if you want to. Now you can title it yourself, being they're not titled here. So down here we have stress. And over here we have symptoms. Okay, and again, you can take away the legend if you want to and just leave the actual graph. I'm going to leave the equation there. And of course, you can also retitle this. But so there are two easy ways that you can make a scatter plot with a best fit linear function.